Jackie Cash and Lori Kilmartin. Oh my God, it's Max Fun Drive. We'll talk more about it later, but for now, you just got to know it's that time of year. We celebrate Max Fun members and remind you that this show exists because folks like you support it at $5 a month or more. You can find out more and join at MaximumFun.org. And then let me just tell you what Max Fun Drive is. It's where we talk about stuff and you get to listen to stuff. And there's so much more bonus content that you get for us just being a show that's on a really great podcast network. The Jackie Laurie show. I'm psyched yeah, about it, right, Lori? slower to sell time. <laughs> well, I'm I said it's real. I, we love Max Fun. We love our podcast is on this network. And uh, if you are a new listener, we're on this great network. It's independent. Uh, it's uh, a co-op. So employees own it. It's not run by a bunch of uh, right-wing a-holes. And it, uh, if you join, you allow us to stay independent. Well done. And now we have a show. Hello, show. Oy. Yeah. Jackie, I wish I was you. You are under a quilt in a bed that I see multiple pillows and a light you can turn out immediately and fall asleep. I love it. Good night. Yeah. Wow. Oh, there's still more light. <laughs> there's, there's a, it's very romantic now in this room. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So I, uh, I did stand up tonight. Did you do stand up tonight? I did. I had the longest week. I can start wherever we're going to start. But tonight I was at this show at the comedy store. It was the Barbie show. So Brittany uh, Everett, who's a producer, put this thing together. And it's kind of like all the comedians were women except for one Ken, which is who was Craig Robinson at the yeah. end. And um, the flyer was really, the whole thing just looked really cool. And she used all the Barbie, uh, you know, elements, I guess, to yeah. to kind of dress it up. And um, the lineup was fucking sick. It, okay, Macy Isaacs, wow. uh, Gina, Gina Yashere, uh, Jenny Yang, me, uh, wow. Justine Marino, Deb okay. Giovanni, Jesus. Uh, Dulce Sloan. What? Uh, and Tiffany Haddish. Damn. Was, it was like. Eh. I just wanted to, I, I, I wanted to be negative about somebody. And I thought, oh, the most successful person. Eh. Jackie, no, you couldn't that, control yourself. I understand you have negative <laughs> worlds around you all the time. Uh, but it was, it was like a killer, killer show. And uh, Deb murdered. Like, murdered. You know? Yeah. But like well, we were she watching, ought. the the room was really full. It was a main room, and uh, there was not many seats left. But there was some on the side, so a lot of us comics were. When we finished, we were just watching, and Deb Di Giovanni just crushed. It was like we were all pounding the table. She had such so many fucking funny tags, and man, she's great. She's so good. It was really That's fun. That's amazing. That's where did you park? Um. Well. <laughs> I forgot my wallet, <gasps> credit cards, because you know oh, no. that that parking parking garage above the store that's twenty five dollars, right? And so, but you have to oh pay my god, it to went go up to get in. So, so luckily, I couldn't get in because otherwise, I'd have been stuck there. Um, I couldn't get in, so I backed up, you know, that weird hill, backed oh. out, went down, and then I went into that little, you know, that little two dollar an hour parking structure or, or parking uh, lot that's next to the store on the other side no that's awesome uh, yeah it's like the one that's near bar lubich I'll okay kyle. i know you're not i can tell you're not listening <laughs> i, I so, have visualized everything you have said so far I and know. i'm mostly like oh she got a spot that's tough kyle's locked in so oh, yeah listen, kyle i did not get a spot there were no oh, spots mm. and you know there's two red curbs in that parking lot. I know them I said, well. fuck it. So I parked up against one of the red curbs. I mean, it was an obvious uh, right. red curb park. It wasn't like I looked like I was bleeding over in anything. I was <laughs> flagrantly violating the law, all laws. Right. And um, I just was like, if I get a ticket, it's worth it. If I don't get, if I don't get towed, I'll consider it a run, a, a home run, but I, I gotta be here on this show. Right. Yeah. And, uh, show. 
watched almost all the show, had to leave in the middle of Tiffany's to come to this uh, podcast that Jackie is uh, doing taxes through. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I wish. And, I um, wish. Uh, I did not get a ticket. Nothing. Hey. Woo! I was not penalized. Oh, right. Well, isn't it, wasn't it Todd Glass who said, just park wherever you want to, and every once in a while you will get a ticket, but you'll save more money than if you were... Nick you know, Thune. Nick Thune. Nick, Nick Thune. Nick Thune. Yeah. There was a time. Said, time. No, because uh, Nick Thune uh, just parked this, and this is hearsay. Mm -hmm. Is that he parked every, anywhere he wanted for an entire year, and he got less than six hundred dollars in tickets. And he said, "If you would have told me that I could park anywhere I want in Los Angeles for six hundred dollars a year, I would pay that six hundred dollars." <laughs> yep. Yeah. So that is well. It worked tonight. I, I it was, worked tonight. I, yeah. I've, I've lived it myself. It seemed like, it seems, I mean, you have to, it's gutsy stuff because you don't want to get towed. And I came out of a, right. a, a, I came out of a set the other night. I thought I had left my car keys in the car. Uh, cool. I did a, a benefit. I did a, a couple of benefits over the weekend and one of them was in a dodgy you remember that cry help? Um, it's a it's a halfway house, whatever. Oh, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so I did a benefit for that. Oh, is that and near the I... train tracks? That <laughs> you know no, what I'm talking about? If if no, but okay. I, it's by the busway. Um, okay. It's <laughs> you know you know that Chris's I just dog did a train has train track halfway house. So I I wasn't sure, but oh, yeah, right, right. Uh, Chris's dog has diabetes now. It's an indictment. And huh? uh, so, oh yeah, Tyson. Tyson's got the diabetes. Oh my God! And I know he's the good one. He's the one who likes you. <laughs> <laughs> and the cat they're might both good. Oh yeah, they're both amazing. And the cat might have cancer. Um, Jesus Christ! Oh my God! What are you, the royal family back there? <laughs> uh, hey, I heard about that. What is? Why is the royal family a Bambi movie where every princess has to die so her children has to be raised without a mother? That's so weird. Well, yeah. I mean, my I suspect based on the things I've read that and you've read eight, Catherine may have ovarian cancer at age 42 which is not good um but Oof. hopefully that's not correct they're they're being super cagey and um i mean it, they they can be who it's not you know but uh of course everyone's going to be guessing um but she's only 42 so uh, wow. yeah uh i mean if anyone's going to get great care it's going to be the future queen of england so <laughs> it's going to be a literal princess. Yes. Right, uh, right. With access to billions of dollars. Although, um, did you know that Williams, or I guess Charles's grandfather, uh, they allowed him to die. They, ha they either, they hastened his death a little bit, a couple, by a couple hours, because they wanted the morning papers to be able to um, uh, print the stories and not the afternoon papers. So even a king was like, he was he died at the convenience of the British media. So wow. um, yeah, who knows what, what'll happen with her. Was he a king? Yeah, he the, was the King the George V. Yes. He was okay. the father father of uh the the Duke of Windsor, the, the Edward the Eighth who abdicated. It was his father. Okay. That was on a TV movie. Um it's actually a fact, Jackie, that you can look up in Wikipedia. <laughs> On Wikipedia. Can I get a second source? Um, <laughs> it's, uh, I have that, um, yeah, I also did a benefit in the afternoon at the ice house. Oh. So I fi I've finally been to the new ice house. Yeah. The, the, the Laker zone. It's, uh, it's, it's amazing. <laughs> yeah. uh, I have to say that it was First of all, kudos to cutting a door in the front of the building. Congratulations, 60 years later, in letting people enter from the street yeah. instead of the alley. Right. Oh, right, my God. Right, what right. A, a triumph. A triumph. Yeah. Uh, the of front of, of ar architecture. Architecture. Archaeology. It is an old building. It's oh, both. my God. 
Rod, Rodtowski told me a new joke she's working on this week, and I laughed and laughed. I will not tell it to you because we're recording and it's her fucking joke, but it's a delight. Mm -hmm. It's about archaeology. Uh -huh. Anyway, um, so back of house, if you haven't been to the new ice house, back of house has uh, an awesome kind of whorehouse vibe that makes me feel <laughs> very much at home. And then the front of house uh, has a very much airport lounge, get fucked up yes. at the airport l vibe, which yeah, also made I me feel that. at home. Right, right, right. And then right. the rooms are glorious. The redo of the rooms are amazing. The mm -hmm. little room is now 20 seats bigger. Uh -huh. And the main room is just cleaned up. Like they just, they, they, they got rid of the, sort of the dank, but not all the dank. The only mm -hmm. thing I would say is, and I don't know if this is always, or if it was because it was an afternoon show too well lit, uh, for mm -hmm. the, for the, for the room. Mm -hmm. Um, the set was fun. It was, uh, it was a benefit for directors, uh, women directors. Oh, cool. Yeah. And tonight I did senior fish. Where's that? That's in e on Eagle Rock, um, in oh. in Hipsterville. Um, okay. Yeah, it was uh, it was quite nice. And um, is that an outdoor gig at a bicycle cafe? No, Senior Fish okay. is a, uh, a a taco joint. Okay. And it's on a corner on Eagle Rock, and but it is an outdoor gig, like a patio okay. kind of sitch. Yeah. And um great lineup and of course i can't remember anything but uh it was great uh-huh uh, yeah and i and i got to work on my new stuff i mean that's been the most fun for being home for the last two weeks is yeah. that everywhere i go up is just an la gig where i can go home and sure i did i did bark on wednesday the barkley oh how was it i love the and barkley. It was fun. It was really fun. But um, <laughs> Roisin, a friend of mine from England, UK comic, Roisin Connolly. Am I saying her? Connolly. Close, close friend of mine. Can't fucking pronounce C her is last it name. Is it C-O-N-N-A-U-G-H-T? No. Okay. It's uh, C-O-N-A-T-L-Y, I believe. Oh, okay. And um, I think she's been comic of the week. Uh, okay. Do me a favor, Kyle. Look her up. R O I S I N right. uh C O N A T L Y I believe. So she's in town hanging out mm -hmm. and she was uh she was just going to Largo to hang out with her friend Brett Goldstein. Oh who's yeah. a comic. From uh who, from Ted Lasso. From Ted yeah, he plays uh the head of the the captain of the team. Yeah. The gr Roy. the grumpy yeah. Mm -hmm. Roy. And um the Jackie Cation of the team. What? I'm I, I, I'm an angel. I think we all know that. <laughs> <laughs> Jackie Cation, angel, and uh -huh. um, walk around with my own halo. Uh -huh. And uh, what I did after Barkley, I felt this was ambitious. Uh, I drove to Largo. Yeah, yeah, to hang out, uh -huh. and it was. Uh, Brett was doing, and I not, never met him, but it was, um, it was Fred Armisen's show. So oh, okay. I love Fred. So I, uh, I did my premium blend the Fre the same night as Fred. Oh, okay. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. What yeah. was, what, what did your, what did your set look like? Uh, mine was at John Jay College in New York City. It was not at, in Los Angeles. Those were the premium blends where everyone crushed. And the LA <laughs> ones were really blah. And I remember because I was up for the LA one and I didn't get it. And somebody who looked like me did. And I was like, fuck. And then like, you know, she's out of comedy completely. I'm like, <laughs> yes, I'm still here. My look right. And I'm the it. grumpy one. Yeah, keep <laughs> keep keep hanging yourself. Okay. <laughs> you know who was uh, on my the three who the, the three comics on my half hour were me, Patrice O'Neill, and Judah Friedlander. Oh, wow. Dang, that's Crazy, good to huh? been more in super New York. Yeah, um, David, I agree. But Jeez. what was your 
what was your um but the sets were always mine had a giant hamburger i just i i just reposted a clip of mine oh on my no, on my reels that was an la thing they probably had some unemployed prop people they had to you know it was insane execute. i had to walk down stairs in heels and yeah. uh i watched me walk down those stairs and think is she gonna fall <laughs> and uh and then um i did very well but it was i was introduced by uh jim brewer who may or may not have been hi <laughs> and, yes, uh, <laughs> it was it was a key it was a key time for him to have been sure. completely out of it sure. and i have no idea who else was on mine and uh but uh the check cleared, so we all win. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, my week was wild. Okay, so uh, it, it's my son's spring break, and right, um, Jackie, are you going to listen or? Well, I have received a text message from Kyle. This so is actually it's... important. Ignoring this time. Oh, in interesting, because I this have is... a phone too, and guess what? It's face down, so I can listen to you <laughs> talk about senior taco and walking downstairs in heels. I uh, really like. I can you. be watching Craig Robinson right now, but no. <laughs> think um i always think that uh craig i'm reminded of craig robinson the first time i met him was at knuckleheads at the mall of america and he had a keyboard so um and i i featured for him at new year's eve and someone threw up in the second row and he just kept going <laughs> and i've always admired him for that now i am back please tell me your story thank you all right Spring break. <laughs> my son has no school, so I bring oh, right. him with me. So yeah, uh, Tuesday morning, drop off Charmy to the uh, the uh, vets because they have a boarding thing, right? And right. Um, we leave on Tuesday night. We get to Chicago around eleven thirty or midnight. Uh, take a cab wow. to the hotel. I'm staying at City Suites on Belmont, and I loved it. It was a great little hotel. We got it for like 107 a night. Very affordable. Ooh. Then it's at 8, I don't know, at 7, or I had to wake up at 5.30 because I uh, I got uh, a spot on WGN, which is the kind of the popular morning show there. Yeah. And so I'm, I, I do, a, I do that. I do really well. I did a lot, mostly just old material from the special and then, um, and then we, my son and I walked around Chicago and he's like, I can live here. And, uh, mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, that's it. That, that's all my job is done here. Cause and we, right. we, everything kept being closed. Like I wanted to take him to the art Institute or the Institute of art. Um, and it's closed on Wednesdays. <laughs> that ah. was the day there. <laughs> and then we went, we bought, walked by the bookstore that we were staying near and it, that's also closed on Wednesdays. So I'm like, what the fuck? Um, <laughs> but we, but we did walk around a dance in Chicago a lot and saw some stuff and ate and had good food. And, and so I was just like, Hey, you know, maybe you could live here. Maybe you can go to the school for your second two years of college and, um, uh, you know, thoughts in his head. Right. Right. Then, um, do the show at the Lincoln Lodge. Great show. Good times. Pretty good. full. Uh, mm -hmm. and, um, a great crowd. Just, you know, fun. Uh, um, there's no signage out in front of the Lincoln Lodge, you know, I, I probably should, it's kind of DIY and I, I now know I probably should have just sent a poster that they could have put out front, but I, right. I didn't know how they did anything, but it was, it was a really fun show okay. and then, um, check out. Oh, okay. So then I have to get a rental car. So I'm like, let me, I'll take the train, you know, to, from the hotel. <laughs> to You're a New Yorker. Sure. I love the train, right? And uh, it took like an hour and a half. There's, it was like a nightmare. It was like a total stopping and waiting. And then I get, I get to the rental car. I, I rented with Booking.com. Never again. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. <laughs> the lady won't rent You're... the car to me because I'm going to Michigan. I'm driving to Michigan. Oh, weird. So now then I go over to pay less and I just, I, I paid, you know, that rate, whatever they had for people that didn't plan well. Yeah, and, uh, it's like at least a hundred dollars more, right? Right. Go back, 
get pick up my kid, you know, and uh, and in the nick of time, we got an extra late checkout. But you know, I'm like, if you stay longer than noon, they're gonna charge us. So get pack and get out. And he, he's frantic about packing everything. Drive like three hours to Ann Arbor and lose an hour. So I right. get to the hotel at like six and I'm showering and like the show's at seven and I'm just like a total right. party. Uh, but the Ann Arbor room is so gorgeous. I love it. It's you were just there, right? Right, right. And they and ever since the construction is gone in front of the in front of the building. So now you can just walk in, go downstairs. Yeah. It's beautiful. Like, like little proscenium seating, you know, just like a mini kind of amphitheater. Yeah. And it's great. The laughs, they just come in right right at you, you know? Right, right. And uh really fun show. Saturday shows were crazy. You oh, know, good. there was some, oh shoot, I have to name, I promised I'd name this podcast. Oh, it had to be, <laughs> we have to name the podcast had to be, or two women from Michigan will come for me because of something <laughs> that happened in the show that what I will clip be? out. Had to be. Had, had to, to be. be. Yeah. Do you know why? Because uh, in Michigan, people are tough. So threats, <laughs> threats about, at Ann Arbor, the toughest town We're in Michigan. A lot of people. Oh my God. People say it all the time. They say, are you kidding me? Isn't that where the Wolverines are from? Um, <laughs> hey, so I don't actually know. I think that that's a sport thing. It, it um, is university of Michigan Wolverines. And so I took my son to the U of M. We started walking around. So then in Ann Arbor, he's like, I could live here. So it's um, <laughs> about to move, but um, they had a little bit of snow and that was fun. Cause he, you know, he's not a snow kid. And, um, and then on Sunday, uh, drove back, drove to, hold on, Jackie, put the phone down. I know you wanted, you're drifting off. It's Just the let pitch. Me finish. It's the Just pitch. Just let me the story. We'll get to okay. it. <laughs> okay. We, um, I had to drive to O'Hare and then on the way to O'Hare, I'm like, cause we, we have the, we have a flight back to LAX and then it's going to be right. like an hour back from LAX. I'm like, I wonder if I could change it to Burbank. I wonder if there's. <laughs> So Good I'm on the Lord. phone on the fly I'm on the phone while I'm to uh, Southwest. And she's like, yeah, actually there's two seats on a flight from to Burbank. It's out of midway, but uh, it'll get you in it, you know, two hours earlier. And then uh, I'm like, oh yeah. And, and I'll get 11,000 miles back. Right. For some reason it just got cheaper. Right. So now I can turn the car to O'Hare. They, Which, they less uh, than have oh, an operation oh, at no. midway. So, you didn't and then just do it. No, then I take a cab to Midway, $100. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I was like, what? I mean, you it's either $100 to re return it to the wrong airport, or it's $100 to take a cab from O'Hare to Midway. You can't return it there because they, they don't even have a, a, a station, a base station oh. at Midway. Okay. Uh, I, uh, uh, so, yeah. But we did make the flight, and then my son was so tired and hated travel by the end of the day. I was really grateful that we only had, like, a 15-minute ride home instead of, like, an hour. So Sure. I guess sure. it's okay. But it was a lot of finagling and tooling around and panicking, and uh, I'm just tired of planning anything. I just don't want to plan something <laughs> for a while. <laughs> right. Right. I, uh, I did a podcast with Matt Alano Martin. Wait, we should probably do this. The talk about yeah. the, the max fun. Did you okay. get a giant bag, by the way? Did you get a I maximum didn't. bag? I didn't. But just so you know, if we have new people listening, we are just doing our pledge drive for the next, for like a week or two with right. our uh, nonprofit um, or worker own not much profit. <laughs> <laughs> Worker-owned podcast network, Maximum Fun. So heads up, guys. We don't always do this. Right. So, yeah. So the, so the, the scoop is, what, is that Jackie it's the max. Lori? Always, always be closing? What's happening? Always buy crayons? It's... Uh, so <laughs> the, uh, it's the Max Fun Drive. So the Max Fun Drive, you should know is the one time of the year that we come together to invite you to support the show as a member or by boosting or upgrading your membership. What it is, is it's a monthly, you just donate monthly. You can pay by the year, you can pay by the month, 
five bucks is the lowest you can pay and you get extra content. Uh, if you do 10 bucks, you'll get our enamel pin, which this year is a really cool logo cool. pin with a, with a mic stand. And, um, and then at the $20 level, I think you get the chess board at the $35 level. I think you get this giant freaking bag. It's a maximum bag. I'm going to make an Instagram reel because the bag is so large. I could fit in it. Andy could fit it. And the mom oh, could fit in it. I want a, it's I so want a bag. bag. Do you want a giant bag? Because it's a yes. giant bag. It's called a I, maximum bag. That, so that Sounds like a fun bag. It's super fun. Max Fun membership pays for shows. You get to choose who gets your contribution. Please let it be us. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You I'm know what? We get loud. a little money from Max Fun. And you, as you know, we need a lot of money. So <laughs> we will take a little, but you know, as, as everyone in this, the uh, hustle grind artist economy can tell you, it is never enough. Right. Uh, I mean, shows like this can, can, they can exist if major like advertisers, uh, advertise but the the ads that we occasionally do are not you know we're not getting free mattresses here and we're not talking about how great they are but if this is i mean it's yeah. so cool to just do a of a listener responded a sort of just a listener supported show and then we yeah. get to do whatever the hell we want to do and you mm-hmm. guys get to and we get to talk about whatever we want and then you get extra stuff but you also get four shows where i'm lying in a bed sometimes looking at my phone so i say <laughs> i say do it we're and, halfway there all right and i'm going to this is where i guess i, I this is my role to to guilt people <laughs> but you know get them not everything can be free okay <laughs> everyone wants everything for free napster ruined everything okay <laughs> limewire ruined everything you just download <sighs> it you just get it well, right. who puts it together? Who leaves a show while Tiffany Haddish is on stage to get back to do a podcast for free, right? right. Who is laying in bed, would rather be uh, unconscious right now, but is instead holding a mic and scanning her iPhone? Oh, I think it's me. I think it's me. Yeah. Yes. Thank you. Will you please yeah. join as a member is what Lori is trying to say. Will yeah. you please join, upgrade, me? or boost? Yeah. We go out of our way and poor Kyle is just waiting for us to tell us when we're ready. And he has (laughs) to, you know, fit his life around it. I'm just happy to be on the team. (laughs) So we, you know, we do this every fucking week. I mean, every week. I don't want to say every fucking week. It sounds negative. But every fucking week. (laughs) You like it. It's I don't know why, but you do. That's right. That's that's you know why? You we're, God. We're, we're a resource, Lori. A lot of people don't. <laughs> oh, it's a, but you can join, upgrade, or boost your membership. So you join. All memberships start at five bucks a month or more. They get access to the entire library of bonus content for all Max Fun shows. So there's amazing other shows in addition to this one that aren't about stand up comedy. Some of them are about true crime, other ones are about nerd stuff. Uh, our. Our bonus content this year is an extra show, and then we ask someone from a thread that we talk about a great deal if anybody wanted to come in, and Pamela Walt does, and that made me laugh. Listeners uh, got a little five-minute taste of that last week as a little, you know, trying to grease that wheel to come and donate. Ooh, right. Yeah. You can upgrade, if you're already a member, you can upgrade your membership and receive uh, some more cool thank you gifts, and uh, including our pin. Yes. Also, we do free Zoom shows for Max Fun. Like right. sometimes we'll just feel like we need stage time and we'll give you like 24 hours notice and you just log on and you can uh, be, you know, Zoom have a, in. a blank screen or you can participate. We don't care, but it's just free shit for you. And we try to get a couple of our friends on. So it's a really good show. And um, that's just a big thank you to you for supporting us. Yeah. And then you can also, if you're already doing this, you can boost if you like. If you're already a member and you want to help just a little extra, but you can't fully upgrade, there's an option to boost by a few dollars or so. This is really helpful if you, you know, 
if you listen to more than one show on Max Funds Network. So we genuinely appreciate you guys. You can join monthly, or if you'd rather get it all done at once, you could just opt to pay up front for a year of support. When your year is up, it'll revert to monthly unless you choose to pay up front for another year. So it doesn't sucker you into just a renewal like that. And yeah. just so you know, we really appreciate the listeners and people come up to me all the time and say that they love the show. And so thank you if you are supporting and um, and if you can continue, if you could start, if you could upgrade uh, or boost, uh, that'd be great. MaximumFun.org slash join, I believe. Is that yep. correct? Okay. Yep. Yeah. All oh, right. That exhausted me. <laughs> <laughs> it revitalized me. I'm in. <laughs> I'm on board. It's uh, <laughs> what? Uh, uh, what else though? I uh, I took all of my set lists and I transcribed mm-hmm. them back into my notebook. Uh, mm-hmm. Here's how I do my notebook: mm-hmm. I pull sets out of the notebook onto scraps of paper. Mm-hmm. I take, I hold on to the scraps of paper long after I'm no longer doing those sets. Mm-hmm. And then if I'm smart, I take all of those sets and I transcribe them back into the notebook. And when I do that, it helps me remember tags and huh. also get order, uh, order of operation off an else. Chaos. Chaos, Jackie. It's uh, but you know, great. At least we have notebooks. You know, these younger comics, they just use their notes, their notes app. And it sickens me. Right? <laughs> it's really, <laughs> it's genuinely hard to watch. It is hard to watch. Um, well, I would know it's hard to watch because I see you do a version of it during the <laughs> podcast. <laughs> Pardon me while I show you my phone right now. Put it down for fuck's Put sake. Put it down. Oh, I did a, a Max Fun thing yesterday at the Elysian. Uh, and I was there with Kimberly Clark and people like that. Mm-hmm. People like that. Do you know who those people are? Great comics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's who was there. Kimberly Clark is hilarious. Mm-hmm. She's such a good uh, comic. Yeah, she's very funny. Chris um, Estrada. Yeah. Oh, nice. I love Chris Estrada. I wonder if, uh, I mean, there's a push to try to save the spool. I, 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 you know, somebody posted about comedy, like no one is making TV comedies anymore. And it really feels like it. Like they're all getting canceled after two seasons, maybe three. Only Abbott Elementary seems to be surviving. CBS didn't buy any pilots this year. It's all like. Re- well, it's you all know reality. what? They're, pa- they're panicking. They're panicking about the Teamsters because the Teamsters are supposed to go on strike in August. So they well, don't want to start they don't anything. Have to. It's, it's, no. it's IATC. They're worried about IATC. Teamsters won't uh, cross IATC uh, pickets. Right. So I don't. Teamsters aren't striking, as far as I know, but IATC might. Um, but there's a way to solve that, Who like just meet your demands. No, I know, um, but they're muckety mucks. So they're. I don't they're... know if that's the problem, though. I, I, I'm not really sure. Someone speculated that because interest rates are so high, studios aren't you know, can't borrow money. So, or they got used to borrowing money at like 1% or something and now they Hmm. can't and they don't know how to, you know, allocate their funds or I I don't really know, but it feels like there's a lot of theories. There's a lot of theories. And one of the other theories I heard was that they had a lot of stuff from before the strike that they haven't yet. They're running out. uh, Like what? No, I don't. I, this is more speculation. Here's what I know is uh, I'm having a hard time filling weeks because um, yes, me too. a lot of writers are still out working the road when they should have writing jobs and leave stand-up comedy to me, please. Please I'm take your little pen, take your pen and get to work and get your pension paid for Jackie, it's not while writers. I grind it out. It's TikTok headliners. It's not writers. It's it's headliners that have zoomed. To, people have zoomed into closing rooms uh, because of. Uh, I'm doing started, a Tuesday, uh, Wednesday, Thursday at the Punchline in San Francisco because Taylor Tomlinson, who has a job, and we're going to be on our show, um, is doing the weekend. Okay, I mean that's not the same thing. That's a real headliner taking the weekend. But For I'm sure, and there's there's other people taking weeks, and we we don't even know who they are. 
you know, and <laughs> True that. we used to know who comics were because you'd see people come up the ranks. They started Speak an MC, for yourself. then they would feature, then they would right. headline, and you yeah. knew who they were. And now they're just going from zero to headlining in like two or three years. And it's like, I look at a calendar. I'm like, who are these men? Who are they? <laughs> <laughs> right. Right. It's, um, it's hard. Um, the other news is, so you are, uh, you know how you always say if you get, uh, the COVID or if you get RSV or if you get that new flu, no, uh, the no virus, norovirus, oh, but I think there's like a flu pneumonia thing too, that's out now. Oh, okay. And, um, uh, but whatever you get, right. Mm -hmm. The stuff is a real, they're real bastards and they just kick the heck out of you. Mm -hmm. And Maria had it. Bamford had it a couple of weeks ago. Had to cancel. You covered for her at the improv, I think it was. Mm -hmm. And um, I think she went back to work too quick because she got uh, sick yesterday and uh, had to cancel her her two weeks of uh, Texas run. And but she's yeah. doing. Uh, she's still going to do after midnight with us. Do you think next next? I d I don't week? know. But it's it's a she has a good what a uh, week and a couple of days to rest yeah so hopefully and um i i am supposed to go with her to minneapolis and pennsylvania um they gave away the the feature spot in buffalo so i'm not going to go to buffalo and they were all sad when maria asked if i could go and they were both like don't you shouldn't go and i was like but i want to go okay I mean, do whatever's, whatever's best for Maria, obviously. And I just, I have to, I have to find some work. I have to trust that it, there's going to be work, but I also have to find yeah. it, right? And, um, I just did an episode with Matt Alano Martin, right? Who you yeah. know from Lim Limestone, mm -hmm. uh, Indiana. And mm -hmm. he said that him and a buddy of his do a, a 10 day 10 gig challenge and listen the, the there's an easy version and a hard version and the easy version is so easy i'm like well that doesn't count uh so in 10 days you have to get 10 gigs and i assume that they're real gigs mm -hmm. that pay the mm -hmm. easy version is you can count a four or five show weekend as five gigs Oh, nice. Yeah, but that, no, one check, one gig. So <laughs> I, so, but he told me about it the next day. I got four gigs because it inspired me to just start sending out avails and stuff. So, so are they one nighters or weeks? Um, one nighters, some door deal. There's, I'm going to do Lincoln again, Lincoln Lodge. Wait, and, <laughs> Print out a poster. I'm serious, and have them put it out front so you can get some okay. walk stuff. Yeah, uh, and then also I would like to know that hotel, even though I might just drive back to my brother's. Okay, it was um, it was nice. The room was nice. It was two little rooms. You know, it was like the bed and then the little a separate little room. It was an old hotel, and uh, it was right next to um, the train. It was next to the blue in the brown line, I think. Anyway, it was real easy to get to Lincoln from there. Okay. And, and anywhere. Nice. And anywhere. Got yeah. And it was near like an incredible bagel shop that someone, I forget who was a Chicago comics that they remembered doing their open mics there. So, um, oh, cool. it's a really good location. If you end up going back with the, with your young man, um, and during the summer, a really cool touristy thing to do is the architecture tour of the Chicago River. Oh, where you just I think I did that yeah. when we were there with Conan. Oh, I bet, I bet it's famous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a really cool thing. Fun. Yeah, um, the even the bean was, was also... closed, Jackie. The bean was closed. <laughs> What's the bean? What's the bean? It's that giant uh, metallic <laughs> mirror oh. bean. <laughs> That was closed. I was like, Wait, come it's on, an man. outdoor statue. There's going to there be was closed. Fencing around it. And it's closed. <laughs> I'm like, you got to be fucking kidding me. It's the one time my son is in downtown Chicago. Everything's closed. Oh, my God. Um, 
Hey, do we have a comic of the week? We do. Um, wait. Who yeah, is it? That way. It's, it's in the chat. It's in the oh, chat. God. Let's talk Did about it. One? Did you pull oh, it? Chat. It, Are you going to edit this part out? Potentially. Oh, yes. Okay. Do it. It's your buddy that you were just talking about. Oh, Roisin? Has she uh -huh. never been? She has not. Okay. I checked our new live database. We have a new live Ooh. database, you guys. Roisin Connedy uh, is at at Roisin Connedy 1, R-O-I-S-I-N-C-O-N-A-T-Y 1. Uh, she's super funny. She is. She does a lot of sort of the, the after midnight version of talk show things in in the uk the uk has so many shows like that for comics they really yeah. support their tv support stand-up god right. I wish it. it's she's just she's just such a goof mm -hmm. and so smart and so funny and she does she doesn't do as much stand-up as as acting right now uh -huh. um but I would like this to be the reason she does more stand up. She's gotten the Jackie and Laurie bump. Yeah. Get back on stage. She does Edinburgh. She did Edinburgh. Uh, Edinburgh. Edinburgh. Whatever. I'm not Scottish. They'll get over it. Um, but she does it, I think, every year or wow. did it every year for like five years. And um, yeah, she's such, she's great. So you okay. guys go to Roisin okay. Connie one on Instagram, follow her, watch her Roisin, stuff. Roisin is an Irish name. And so right. it's spelled, it almost looks like Raisin with an O, uh, R-O-I-S-I-N. Right. And, um, yeah. So I'm glad we, uh, good call finding that info. Jackie Kyle. is actually uh, throwing her thigh into the screen now. You guys aren't seeing this. <laughs> this we've really just fallen so far. That's this just going to be for the guys with fucks. Max Fun Drive and OnlyFans. Please get <laughs> into my left thigh. Get in on. You may see stool. a kneecap. You guys <laughs> own it. Get into the kneecap. When I picked okay. up Charmy. Okay, this really pissed me off. First of all, so they quoted me. Boy, do we have to do another one? We do. Okay, I'll <laughs> tell you this story after we talk about Max Fun. <laughs> <laughs> and how great it is, quite honestly. We love it. We're so grateful to be on Max Fun. And uh, we get great support from them. They're totally cool. If we call them up frantically and say we need something, they, they're on it. They are very generous. They're nice people. They have great taste in podcasts. And um, it's cool to be part of a uh, network that, like, supports, I don't know, just uh, not the same shit you hear all the time. I mean, there's, there, there's a type of comedy podcasting that is totally dominating comedy. And it's uh, creating a, a, a kind of comic... <laughs> it's going to be irritating to be around in the next 10 years, the more they proliferate. Um, and uh, it's, we're just, we're not, you know, against them. They, everyone does, does what they want, but we're creating a separate, different uh, aura, different space and encouraging um, other kinds of comics uh, to be part yeah. of the game and not surrender it to the loudest people all the time. You right. Know? So, Oh, uh, that's that. And uh, so that's what our podcast is part partially about. And, um, and Max Fun supports us in that. And they give us a little bit of money because you guys give us a little bit of money. And it helps. It really does help. I mean, especially it goes now, directly. we're both struggling. Yeah. So we thank you for joining in advance. Right. So all about the bonus content. You should probably know about the bonus content. So Max Fun has a library full of special bonus content you can enjoy from all the Max Fun shows. So it's gotten a 
it's got to be a pretty big library over the years. So some of them are team ups between Max Fun hosts and other Max Fun hosts or with special guests. And some are interesting topics or extended versions of episodes. You get access to the whole library of bonus content. Every single Max Fun show when you join at just the $5 a month uh, level. Or more, obviously. But uh, if you're thinking strictly about value, that's a pretty incredible value. So you could literally go in there, hit search, type in your favorite comics, your favorite personalities, your favorite actors. And I would, I don't know, bet you five bucks a month that uh, something's going to come up because it's great. We're excited. I mean, it's exciting. This year's bonus content from us is actually something we don't, we don't usually do, which is an extra episode. <laughs> that we... <laughs> we, we, we do when there is a shotgun aimed at our hearts. We do it. So we did last year. We were in. I was. We were in New York, and we recorded it in my tiny oh. uh, apartment. Uh, I had that uh, t- tiny hotel room. Yeah, I think I you were in Harlem, and I was in Midtown. That and... was more than a year ago, wasn't it? It seems longer ago now. Well, I everything recording. when we're, we're together seems like it's interminable. <laughs> but uh, I will say <laughs> that um, if you go to MaximumFun.org slash join and feel free to join, feel free to up, upgrade or feel free to boost. And I think that. And and then I think the gifts are what we're supposed to talk about uh, next, but I seconds. can't remember. Okay. <laughs> Do you? We have our our pin. I can't honestly. The font is so small, and uh, no no shame. But my eye doctor has not cured my astigmatism <laughs> whatsoever, and it's almost getting worse. And he doesn't seem to care. These contacts don't work anymore. Well then. Let me just tell you what you were supposed to read that was really small. Say Thank something you. from the heart. And Lori just did. She talked yeah. about her eyeballs. That was from the heart. If you don't donate, <laughs> she'll go blind. <laughs> that We have the freedom to do this show the way we want to, which is just, and what does that mean to you? Does that mean something beautiful for you? And you have to, supporting artists this way is actually the best. It's the best way to just go, Fine. Here's sixty bucks Check a me. year or whatever. We're done. And we got it. Our- yep, we're good. We got to do sixty at the end still. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Maximumfun.org slash join. Join. Um. Oh. Okay. So I, I, what do you got I this go week? Get, oh I yeah. Go no. to get your army this morning. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right. She's been in there six nights, and they quoted me. She's when I last time we were there. In for whatever shots, she weighed 59 pounds and nine ounces. So they quoted me the price of a dog that weighs up to 60 pounds. Uh huh. So when I pick her up, they weighed her, she weighed 61.2. And so they... that cost me almost a hundred dollars because oh. it's 10 extra dollars a night. And their, right. their thing goes up to 61 pounds. So I'm like, she's literally two ounces over. That's a shit. And- that is and you guys thing. overfed her. <laughs> possibly. Possibly. And she's not getting enough exercise. So I'm, I'm lodging a complaint where I'm going to have to take care of this. Because that's that was a, that was a shocking and extra amount of money. And then I'm like, I got to figure out something else. Because this kennel shit, it's, it's always an extra fees that they don't tell you about until you pick the dog up. And then you're fucked. Like, you're going to pay it because you got to get your dog back. One right. day I won't get her back. One day I'll be, be like, hey, you keep her. You like her so right. much? She's yours. <laughs> I'm tired of buying bones. <laughs> I put the guard and then, in. Yes, go ahead. Okay, fucking booking.com. I make a five-day car booking, right? And then when I called the hotel, I'm like, City Suites in Chicago. I'm like, how much is parking? And there's $40 a night. Oh, my so God. Like, Never mind. I'll get it for three days. I'll pick it up on Thursday. Like I already told you that story, right? So right. I, booking.com's like, okay, you've canceled this booking and you do another one. We'll give you a full refund. Of course they didn't. Of course they didn't. What? So now this morning I was on the, I was on iChat or whatever with someone, you know, calling herself Joyce. I don't even, yeah, of course that's not her name. 
And uh, so they came up with this convoluted way for me to get the refund. If I, I, I have to make a, a reserve another car and prepay it. And somehow that works within their system because I canceled the other reservation too early that they can refund the other one. So I'm like, this sounds like a fucking scam. You're making me prepay for another car so I can get this yeah. refund. Yeah, but Did that's it work? Way, that's not yet. And then, and then, she, and then, so I, I do all the things they tell me. I make some fake reservation I'm not going to use at LAX on Thursday. And she goes, okay, now it takes us up to 48 hours to, to, uh, push this through. So, um, don't cancel that reservation. And I'm like, but I, I have to can't, I have to give them 48 hours notice. You didn't tell me I needed a two day window. So now, oh my God. now I might have to go through this whole thing again with a different customer service thing. Cause I got to cancel this fake reservation by 10, 10 tomorrow morning, unless I get the email from booking.com that they refunded me the other reservation. It's wow. such horse shit. Even explaining it makes me angry and want to, to harm somebody to, to go to customer service and just start shooting. It's so stupid. Uh, right. I don't so know, anyway, I don't, yeah, that don't do it. No booking.com. They're owned by Priceline. It's all part of the same fucking shit. <laughs> it's the same umbrella. <laughs> they're all they're, They all own all of it. And all, all you can do is just go, I'm hoping to get a car and make, and then not have to have, did they try to give you an electric vehicle by any chance? No, 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 no. Oh. Twice now they've tried to give me an electric Ooh, vehicle. No, here's no. here's how I fight that. I always say I'll take the electric vehicle if you tell me how to fill it up. There's always <laughs> a beat, and then they go. That is such. A I, have a small, I have a I have I have a I have a small SUV, and oh, then they no. give me. Uh, I'll I'll yeah. say if I am stranded and I am raped and murdered. And you, will you agree to give my son $10 million? And then they, they, they give me a cap. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Okay. That is, I try to, that's I one try way. to make it about, you know, getting generation, generational wealth for my son. If I'm somehow murdered in an electric car that ran out of gas. <laughs> Juice. In the middle of nowhere. Because uh-huh. you're a defenseless lady. Uh-huh. Um, well, I'm going to Vegas on Thursday. Mm. Again. Oh, for Regan, right? Yep. That's cool. Still have not been paid for the comedy seller. <laughs> they, uh, <laughs> that taking so long. I don't know, oh, but it's taking a long again. And uh Elizabeth told me that they mailed it last Tuesday, which means I should get it by tomorrow at the latest. New yes. York? Yes. Right? It's a six day. Why? Um, and the other thing is like the last factory, you have to pick up the check. Why, why are we still living in 1989? Some of these clubs, like, th- right. She clubs had some are, problem. Are like, what's your Zell? What do you mean? Right. <laughs> like they're, you, uh, they're, they're in the future. Some right. clubs are in the future and other clubs right. are in the past. Right. I'm like, well, my, Z- this is my Zell. Live it up. And, uh, and then I get paid. Um, I will say that. I'm looking forward to the Brian Regan weekend because yeah. it's going to be at the Venetian. Mm-hmm. Are you staying and there? The, I don't know. I assume. And um, the weird thing is, is he's got me flying in the night before. He likes mm. to make sure everybody's there. I like that. Even if it's just the night before. You never know. In, in the same area code um, or mm-hmm. like time zone. Mm -hmm. And, um, and so, oh, tomorrow's a project. Uh, so Chris, Andy's mama needs, uh, her driver. We went in and we got, we brought all of her stuff to get her a real ID and renew her driver's license six months ago. Um, they never sent us a car, a letter. So I finally called them and i was like hey what's happening with this oh her passport was expired um she can't have a real id um so and all we have is a xerox of her birth certificate and i was like 
wait. Oh, what? you have to get a copy of it, right? Right. And so tomorrow we have um, a DMV appointment where we go in and just try to get her a normal driver's license. And then we'll, because her passport was expired by the time they finally processed it. And um, so I said to Chris, I was like, let's just get your driver's license. And then we'll apply for a passport. And then if you fly, you can use the passport as a real ID. Because that is indeed yeah. Yeah. the real list of all IDs. <laughs> and um, so I've sent away to Mississippi for an, like notarized versions of her birth certificate. Mm -hmm. and But to get her to go to the DMV, the oxygen tank and the in the wheelchair and then we're driving six blocks and then wow. the oxygen and the wheelchair and the <laughs> but uh other than that and she is doing so much better it's amazing oh that's pretty cool great. she yeah, get, get great. some of her strength back yeah a little bit a little bit it's coming she's definitely cognitively on it so that's the neat thing and um I'm you know, actually thinking of going on Lipitor, even though, did you know that uh, you can't have grapefruit anymore? No. Why? I like grapefruit. Yeah. Yeah. It's the one thing you can't eat if you're on Lipitor. Oh, okay. Oh. I, I, and uh, I, our neighbor has a grapefruit tree, palmellos. Oh. Very sad. Well. Very sad. That's too bad. Um, mm -hmm. hmm. But if But if my veins are solids, that also is not good. So no, that's bad as well. I did I did I tell you I got an Omnilux red light mask to make no. my face look appear younger? Oh so um you gotta use How's it. That um well I'm looking. No, I need to use it for a while. It takes a while to kick in. But then I was reading about uh red light therapy and it's good for joint pain and stuff. So now I'm putting the mask on my knees, but it has eye <laughs> holes. <laughs> It has cutouts for eyes and a nose, so it looks kind of ridiculous. But uh, I'm going to try that and see, if, get that going for like two months and see if I can, you know, feel better in the old knees. The old knee balls. And then what are you going to, are you going to, are you willing to wear a hot dog costume on After Midnight on Wednesday? A what costume? Hot dog. Are we all going to wear a hot dog costume? <laughs> I was thinking it'd be really fun. Well, we're, we're in my size. They have one in my size. <laughs> sure. I think I've got an extra one around the house. No, um, you don't. And no, <laughs> we're not. Taylor's going to be there. In a, if she gets these incredible suits and the three of us are going to be hot dogs. <laughs> I mean, come on, Jackie. All right. Um, I have hired the stylist lady again. Oh, wow. So... What what day is the third? Is that Wednesday? Yep. Okay. Maybe I'll, I'll have look to into shop. some sort of clothing. Um, Maybe I, I'll I, wear I, my my pink blouse from my special, but have it steamed <laughs> just to have it <laughs> as, as contrast oh, for clips. Yes. Ah, so beautiful. My fury. My fury. I got um, only one more ad and call it. Wait. Another ad? Yeah, we got one yeah, more one-minute ad. It's a it's okay. an end of the roll. Well, that's thing. good. But I'm glad to talk about Max Fun again. <laughs> well, well <laughs> I love I, it. I, it's great. I wanna. I want. Here's what I want to know: Are are you going anywhere this weekend? Are you got anything to plug? No, I don't. Okay. At the moment, I mean, I'm doing, I'm doing local stuff. I'm doing like uh, Dax Dax Jordan as a show. Uh, no, I'm doing local stuff. Oh, you know what I am going to do? I'm going to see, um, Niles, uh, Alpston. Um, he has, he, he did a movie. He made a movie and he's screening it at, um, uh, the dynasty at 4 PM. So I bought tickets to that. My son and I are going to go see that. Uh, and I think Ashley Ray is hosting a Q and a after with actors. So that'll be okay. kind of cool. And then I have, I have just spotlets here and there. I'm doing, oh, I'm doing uh, Love It Love it or Leave It on Thursday night, also at the Dynasty. Nice. Um, 
a live one. So uh, that should be really cool. And then the crow on uh, Friday and, um, you know, yada, yada. That's great. More. Yeah, yeah. I don't, I, yeah, I don't, I'll post I don't have... Okay. Um, I updated my website with my extensive, um, with, with my dates going into September. Uh -huh. So even though some of them don't have ticket links yet, because uh, it's September, uh -huh. and um, I'm going to try to book six more gigs before next Wednesday, before ne the, uh, the next time we we record, which actually uh, yeah, tonight's so a Monday. Yeah. Guys, w on Wednesday, next Wednesday, April 3rd, we'll be on After Midnight, so um, watch the show for sure. If you are in LA and you want to tickets to our show, you can go, you can go to the show. Like it's not hard to get in. I have, I'm going to go to Amy Miller's taping it tomorrow. I'm going with the Renee Percy. We got tickets and we're just going to go and watch it and see what it looks like. You know, you've already did that because you saw Maria's when she did the Super Bowl show. Right. So, um, so yeah, it's, it's very accessible. And if you're in LA, come to our show. It'll be me, Jackie and Maria Bamford are the three panelists with Taylor Tomlinson as the host, of course, that should be a fucking amazing show, you know? Right. And we won't be dressed as hot dogs. No. <laughs> now we do 90 seconds. Now let's talk about max fun. The drive as we go off into the, as we drive into the sunset. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Do you got Jackie, the I like you're driving right now? Cause you're on your phone. It's oh. almost just like, it. yes, bam, you're not wrong. Uh, there was a, 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 a parking cop behind me on the way home, and I thought it was a, a cop cop. I thought it was all over, uh, but it's not so. It was just a parking cop. Uh, okay, where's the actual? Sorry. Sorry. Right. Opening pitch. I want. I want uh, final pitch. I'm not seeing that. Mid pitch. Final pitch. You guys, let us recap. Let us rejoin <laughs> how much we love Max Fun, how good Max Fun is to podcasters and to listeners, and how they just became worker owned. And it's all $5 a month. And you enjoy all the bonus content. If you're already a member and you'd like to support a little bit more, we would certainly appreciate you upgrading your membership or even boosting it by a few dollars per month or so. Please do it now before you forget, right? Maximumfund.org slash join. Yes. And it is those things you'll forget to do, especially if you're listening in the car. So make a note right in right on your hand, right M F O org slash J on your hand. <laughs> you'll remember. And join us, you know, don't let the, don't let only the right wingers make money, please. We're begging you. Right. Not and that we're so, a political podcast, but you know, <laughs> we're sociopolitical because we're alive. So, we're uh, <laughs> there are several cool thank you gifts you can check out when you head to maximumfund.org and you can only get them for the two weeks of the max fund drive. And one of those cool collectible is a cool collectible pin, uh, representing our show which is uh, just our, the, our names and a, and a, it's really classy this year. We went wacky last year, but this year it's just a mic stand and it's awesome. So yeah. you, and so th do it and get in on there and you can see it on our social media accounts. And when you go to maximumfund.org to join or upgrade your membership, it's also there. Thank you so much. You guys have a good night. Bye.